have had the pleasure of hearing this man sing. I was there, Barbara Streisand in yes. Brooklyn at the oh, concert. Oh, yes. You did a duet with her. Yes. How did that all come about? Well, they asked me to sing on her recording, which is what we're doing right there. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I was secretly hoping, not so secretly hoping, uh, that if she went on tour, that they would uh, they would ask us to sing or ask uh -huh. me to sing. So I sang both shows at the Barclays Center. Then we just sang last week. I sang with her. Uh, and Jamie Foxx and I sang with her uh, in Miami, mm. um, and they recorded it for Netflix. So it what would is be... that like to sing with Barbara <laughs> Streisand? <laughs> I, it's unbelievable. I know it really is. I mean, it's it's a dream come true. But I, I will say this: what is amazing about it is when you get up there, um, everything went away. Mm. Everything went away because of who she is mm. when you're performing with her. I never felt everything else around it was crazy and, mm. and daunting. And and then you get up there and you're just like, no, no, we're just yeah. just. She singing. makes you feel that and way. And she just makes you just calms you down. So it was uh, it was unusually calm. You know, love this. It's like looking at these people every day. I'm just, I'm there. No one else is here. <laughs> right? No one else is here. Right. As long as they don't sing. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sing, you know, sing we're in a little trouble. Yeah. But besides, you know, impressive musical um, theater right. roots you mm -hmm. have, man. But you also, you're a veteran of the scary movie. And our own Amy yes. Robach makes me go to these with her. <laughs> yeah. Insidious, The Conjuring. Oh, yes. yeah. She oh, man. But you're, you're, are you a um, scary movie buff? Not really. I mean, I, 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 uh, I my thing is, if it's a good movie, it's a good movie. I don't care about the genre. So I don't see every one, every scary movie that comes along. But, you know, for me, the, the great ones can, that, can, that can transcend the genre. You know, the, I think of Shining, Poltergeist, and those movies. To me, that meant something to me. And that's what, we're, what we really set out to do with uh, the Conjuring Now series. Because we've got oh, two, and we'll, yeah. we'll have another one. I can't. I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I know. You know I just you know see it. about it, though? No. I, I'm not a, a lover of <laughs> scary movies, but Amy makes me go. <laughs> she and does. my pitch is like that Mariah Carey note and all I want for Christmas. <laughs> It's like that when I scream, <laughs> but the second one was better than the first. It keeps uh, better. Thank you. It's yeah. it's pretty. Well, you, you don't want to rehash the same jokes, mm. the same scares. You know, that's the that, that's always the trouble with a sequel. And so, luckily, we just kept pushing forward. We had a director in James Wan who mm. who wants to just keep reinventing his own genres. Wants so. me never to sleep again. Yeah, exactly. that's the goal. Yeah. Yeah. And we're very excited about your new one, The Hollow Point, yes. where you yes. play a sheriff in New Mexico investigating a crime. I do. Let's let's I take do. a little look right here. Spent a good five months figuring out smuggling routes up in Indian Ridge. Kept on hearing about peculiarities and such. Catapults and uh, back alley breast implants. Even heard about a submarine once. Somebody took the time to build by hand in their garage. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. How many, how many bowls of cereal do you get to? <laughs> <laughs> a few bowls of cereal. That's funny. Those are always the things that you, that you walk away with. Like, why did I choose to eat cereal on this? <laughs> like, two hours later, you're just like, you know, <laughs> carried on with it. And it keeps going yeah. because you were, you were cast as Orm. You are the Ocean Master, the, ocean the new master. Aquaman yeah. film. Yeah. So you, were you an Aquaman fan growing up? Uh, n no, I, I, I mean, I, I wasn't that I loved Aquaman, but there weren't any movies about it, you know, any, yeah. any movies of, of real significance. So that's, we finally reached the point, I guess, where we can, we can match the technology with the, yeah. with, with the artistic desire. Yeah, so you have to communicate um, with all the underwater creatures. Well, there, well, I don't do that. I'll leave that to Aquaman. Well, you know what, so, you, yeah. what you've done, though, you're an action figure, my friend. Yeah. Well, look at yeah, him. There you are. There you go. Oh, thank you. I don't have him. Comic book, a little bit of I everything. Love, oh, I do have this. We this come bearing great. gifts. This is it great. is the season. This is the New 52. This is when they redid it. So we won't even make you sing. And, and a quick <laughs> congratulation before we go. Um, you joined um, George and myself as one of people's sexiest man, uh, men alive. You're sexy. And well oh. 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 No, you're sexy. <laughs> you're sexy. I was just a throw because yeah. they didn't want to offend me. That is why I got in. They were rapping us, but notice you found time to yeah. be. <laughs> 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 I know I got to cut away, but let's talk about being sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Thanks for coming. Uh, I'm going in theaters and on demand right now.